Hey guys, this is Mac Hazelman with our 12th iPhone programming tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use multi-touch to resize a core graphics drawing. This is useful. Uh, I actually use this in Zoomify for you know selecting a cropping, so it's pretty cool. Now, there's no way built in to do this, but we can use the Apple's built-in multi-touch APIs to resize things and do all this stuff. So, let's go up to File, New Project. Create an application, view-based application, I'll call it Resizer. Alright, now under Classes, we're going to, like normal, create a new UI view class. <clears throat> and I'll call it Main View. And I'll set it up in Interface Builder so it's our main view. Let's grab this. Change the class to Main View. Alright, so now this is our main view. This will get drawn. So we're going to have a CG float diameter. And you'll see what this is in a second. And we're going to make a void called, and it's going to return a CG float. CG float is just, um, you know, an integer is a whole number. CG float is any kind of number. It's a floating point number. All right, so our CG float method is going to say, it's going to be called distance CG point P1 of point CG point P2. And this method is going to use the point distance formula. But before we can do anything with this, we have to understand what we're doing. So, <clears throat> on a UI view, a method always gets called called touches moved. And touches moved, all it does, all it's responsible for is handling multiple touch events, which means if you put on five fingers on the screen, it's going to call one touches moved whenever any of them moves. But there's going to be an array of touches, and that array will... Um, you know, contain the different touch objects. So we're going to declare our void touch is moved. All right, and in here is where we're going to get two points. So touches is an NS set. NS set is like an unordered array. There's no order to it. So if touches count bang equals two, NS log not two fingers, it will return. Otherwise, there are two touches. So we can say for UI touch T in touches. And here we'll say get coordinates. CG point P1, CG point P2. Alright, so we'll say, and I'll create an int step. I'm just doing this hastily. But we'll say if step equals 0, then P1 equals T location in view. Self.view, else uh, p2 equals t location and view, self.view. And at the end of this method, we'll say step equals one. How about? Alright, so now we'll have two points, p1 and p2. These are the two points, two locations of the fingers on the screen. So now we'll, we'll, um, we'll get the distance between these two four fingers and make it the diameter. So I'll say, Diameter equals self distance P1 of point P2. Now we have to make the distance method work. So if you'll recall from simple algebra, to get the difference between two points, you just use the Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to return the square root of P1 dot, or dot y minus P2 dot y squared plus pal, which is exponents, uh, p1.x minus p2.x squared, and uh, this works mathematically. So, yeah. Now, these will always be positive, so the square root method won't flip out. And it'll give you an accurate distance. So we're just setting the diameter, and now we'll say self set needs display. This just means redraw our view, and it'll recall our draw rect method. In this method, we're going to draw a circle in the middle of the screen, which will have which will have the diameter that we want. So we'll say CG point or let's declare a CG rect circle frame. And let's calculate the frame. So we'll say circle frame dot origin dot x equals self dot frame that size dot width over two minus and here we'll subtract how about um, diameter over two. And it uses the order of operations, so this will be separate from this, and it'll subtract. Okay. We'll say circle frame.origin.y equals self.frame.size 
dot height over 2 minus diameter over 2. And now we'll say circle frame dot size dot width equals diameter. Circle frame dot size dot height equals diameter. All right. So now we have to draw the circle. And you can remember this. We just get the context. Uh, uh, all right. And we'll say CG context draw. Or how about fill ellipse in rect context circle frame. And we'll set the fill color. CG context set fill color with color context UI color yellow color CG color lots of colors alright so this will draw the circle that we want let's see if we have any errors or anything like that looks like we have four errors and they're actually just two errors so here Instead of saying self.view, we just say self because we're actually a view ourselves. All right, that should fix it. All right, so now we've got it all configured with our stuff, but there's one last step you have to take before it'll actually work. It's because in order to detect two, two touches or more, like we do here, you have to enable a property on the view. So we'll open and back up our view controller and interface builder. We'll click on the view. We're going to go to properties, and we have to check multi-touch. All right, right there. It has to be checked or else it won't work for multi-touch. So let's run it. And if we drag our fingers, we have a circle with the diameter of which you know, we want. Uh, if I put them together, it'll be zero. But yeah, basically that's how that's how uh, multi-touch is done, uh, is just getting the distance between the two fingers. So anyway, uh, this is our 12th iPhone programming tutorial. So thanks for watching Mac Heads on the One. Subscribe and goodbye.